All right, the first thing we want to demonstrate for you on this Cambia Corsa is how the top goes down. It's a simple one touch button. Nice feature on it. I'm going to go in there and uh, place it down for you. All right, when we get back from our test drive, we'll place it back up for you so you can see how it operates as far as uh, placing it back. And I'm gonna strap this camera to the back of this thing. We're gonna have some fun today. All right, here's our 2004 Cambia Corsa Spider. Beautiful little Maserati. As with every vehicle we sell, it has a clean title. This one's very well taken care of. Very rare find. They use the uh, 265-35ZR18s on there. And there's still a good amount of tread left on all four tires. Something that's really unique about this car is the Formula One style gearbox. Now this gearbox, um, is actually mounted to the rear axle and it gives the vehicle a 48 52 percent weight distribution from front to rear and it does actually have an automatic mode as well so it uses a uh, dual flywheel clutch and it uses an electro hydraulic mechanism to uh, disengage and engage the clutch for you when you have it in that auto mode and it does have the uh, paddle shifters there on the wheel as well Let's pop open the hood and show you this Ferrari engine. Now what a lot of people don't know about Ferrari is they're not really into designing consumer products. Ferrari is a racing team. And the only reason why they sell cars to the general public is to fund their racing team. And along with that, you can get some Formula One technology. And so what you're seeing here is a uh, 4.2 liter Ferrari engine. It's rated at 370 horsepower and conservatively rated at 333 foot-pounds of torque. Look at how beautiful that is. Just a gorgeous engine. Not only is it functional, it's gorgeous. It's like a piece of artwork. Look at that, right down to the cherry red valve covers. Just gorgeous. So that engine is actually hand built in the Ferrari factory. Now what's funny about Ferrari engines, I was watching uh, the show in the factory, their engines don't really require a break-in period. Parts that would normally require a break-in period, they actually dip and freeze before they install them in the engine. And so as they heat up, they permanently seat in place. And the first thing they do is they bring it out to the racetrack behind their factory and they open it up to test drive their engines. So it really is an engine built for driving like a race car. And I hope you can hear that. Let me get the camera out a little bit more. That air intake just sounds beautiful. You can hear it taking in uh, quite a bit of air. And you can see Maserati, just uh, these gauges are beautifully done. Brings a nice high end look. Can you believe that? 23,580 miles on this. Even the clock here and the sunlight's kind of washing it out. But just uh, has a nice high end look to it. Cars equipped with navigation. Here's a good view at the uh, 
Formula One style uh, transmission. It's a little shifter it has. And what's funny, look at that. It has drive and reverse. It doesn't even have park. The closest thing to park you're going to get is you pull back these two paddles. It'll drop it in neutral. And then you just pull up the e-brake here. You can see the seats are done in Italian leather, hand stitched. Just a gorgeous car. The Maserati embroidery, embroidered with the uh, with the crown. What a car! All right, so uh, what we're gonna get into now is the test drive, where you can actually see this thing in action. 